Hey guys, welcome back. Or hey everyone, you're not guys. Hey everyone, welcome back with another plan with me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Two whole weeks of not doing them. Wow, okay. It's gonna take a lot of like remembering what happened in the last few weeks. So for this week we are using this kind of mini kit from Trillia Planning as well as uh, this little mini one cheater from L Plan. Uh, and a few extras and stuff over there that have kind of color matched to fit. So we'll get right into it. Yes. Okay. I have this for the headers because I'm lazy. I thought about cutting up the, I thought about cutting up that but I'm lazy so I'm not going to. So too bad for you because I'm not doing it. Do do do. So lazy. And by that I mean I'm in a rush. As usual, guys, I can't seem to keep my, uh, like, plans at a reasonable level, so, yeah. Um, lots always on the go, which I guess, I mean, when you're planning your wedding, which is less than two months out, and probably going to be moving to another country... There's uh, lots of stuff to to have to figure out. <laughs> so yeah, the shop was closed down for a little bit while I was on vacation. I went to Seattle and that was great. Um, I didn't go on the Space Needle, but I did check out. There was a sunset cruise that I went on and I went on the Great Wheel. And I also went to Ye Old Curiosity Shop, which was really cool. So, uh, thought I silenced my phone, but apparently not. So I've got some work, a lot of work deadlines, and then just like wanted to make sure I get this video up for you guys. So if I sound hectic and crazy, it's because I am hectic and crazy right now. And so for washi, I decided I was going to do this purple glitter. It's fairly close matching. We're not going to be obsessed with perfectly matching stuff this week. So I will do that off camera and then come back. Okay, I actually realized I should probably put the uh, boxes down first because these are not horizontal boxes. So let's do that. Mm. I think I'll use... I'll use this one to tie it all in as well. So I don't need to use one of these. I probably won't use the green. Because I don't like green that much. No, 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 that's a lie. But, I mean, I don't know. I like a minty green. It's not quite minty, so. Alright, so we've got five of those. And then we've got two color ones and one there. So what do we want to do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can put the pink solid one on the Wednesday. The only thing about this is that it may be kind of wonky because I'm not cutting them to fit. So we'll see how it all kind of does fit eventually, but we'll see. And then I think I'll put this one on the Saturday. Having trouble with my nails to pull up stickers. So, excuse the amount of time it takes. So, uh, I think you guys know last time I had acrylics, so I just got them redone yesterday. And yeah, like I love them. There's a couple of things that are kind of hard to do with acrylics. Part of it is dealing with stickers to peel them up. It's kind of hard to, you have to really get used to your new length because I've added the length on. 
but I love this new polish. It's called like Cat's Eye, um, and it's like this glittery polish, but it also, they, they take a magnet and they put it over top and it like changes, it changes the color. So basically like, I'm guessing it's like two colored metallic flick things that flip up for the other color or something like that, but it is really cool. So I thought I would get that done just for something kind of fun. And I love it. Okay, so that's those two. Now the Monday is a holiday. And I can put my sisters coming down this week to train on how to cut stickers. So if you're wondering why your order hasn't gone out yet, if you ordered since you got back, um, it will definitely go out by the time it's scheduled to, like the first one is scheduled to go out by the Wednesday, so it'll go out by then, don't worry about that. But, um, I'm trying to hold off on them so that I can train, actually have orders for her to cut when she gets here. And, like I think I mentioned before, as long as it all goes smoothly and she's comfortable doing it, then she will be taking over the cutting of orders and all that stuff and I, that way I can spend more time on my contract work as well as getting kits out. Also, we did discuss in the, um, I guess I'll use that one here. We did discuss in the Facebook group, which if you're not in the Facebook group, go check it out. It's SB Creative Groupies. And I just kind of try to do all my updates there first before I post them anywhere else so that they get, it's kind of like the VIP inside scoop. And uh, the more people we get in there, the more like personal I'll get and the more often I'll update with like life stuff too. But anyway, I was asking the group what they felt about clip art because for essentially the last year, basically from the time that I launched the fall kits last year, I started only doing clip art or only doing original artwork. So it would either be artwork that I make or, you know, there's a couple of ones where I have friends that I make it, but basically it would all be 100% original work that is not available for sale online. Like other stores have purchased clip art that's for sale online. So you, if you see shops that have multiple and like if you see multiple shops that have the same artwork, that's typically what's happening. Oy, okay, there we go. So anyway, I was asking what people thought of that if they wanted, like if they wanted if they cared about the original clip art, like the original artwork, if that's why they shop from me, or if they just want to have stuff come out faster. Because you, I think if you've been here while I've been in business, then you've definitely noticed that since I started doing just original artwork, the amount of stuff coming out of the shop has slowed down significantly in terms of new designs. So I'm sure you've recognized that, especially for the last few months. And really, it's just a matter of time. It takes a lot, a lot more effort to have to make your own artwork versus um, purchasing clip art and things like that. So I did do a poll in the group to kind of get people's thoughts on if what they cared about, whether they cared about having the original art more or whether they just wanted kits to be out quicker or whether like they were fine with both. And pretty much everyone said they were fine with both, which was good to hear. So. Um, I've got a couple of things of artwork already that I'm just waiting to find time to put kits up for, but then after that I will be looking for clip art again, and so you may notice that kits will start to come out a little bit faster, which would be nice, especially since my sister will be taking over the cutting and all of that, that, that will take a huge weight off my shoulders, so I do hope that she enjoys it in that way. We keep all of the shipping in Canada so everything stays the same. That's not too pricey for people in the US, so it doesn't really change things for anyone in the US at least. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm kind of excited to see if people end up liking that or what happens. Now, I think I might use this 
as a bit of a backdrop, but then I have to figure out how to align the other portion of it. Just going for it. We don't care. We're, we're doing it. Don't worry about it. We're just doing it. I don't know where my scissors are. My desk is a huge mess, you guys. It is kind of scary. I'm going to do... Since this is vinyl, I'm probably not going to try ripping. No, I'm not. So I need to find my scissors. Okay, I cut that, and now this one won't really align. I don't think the, it's been resized. The actual graphic has been resized, so the flowers are different. The whole pattern is different size. So that won't help with that, but that's okay. I'm probably best off just putting washi down and then maybe finding a thicker washi to work for that part. But I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what I want to do there. I'm trying to see if there's maybe a, a design that's going to stick out at me as being a good option. Maybe I'll just layer the glitter in that case. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the glitter washi for now and then come back. We'll see if I make any other change though. Okay, washi's down, and so I'm gonna add the date stickers first. And we'll figure out if I wanna use these checklists or if I wanna use the checklists from an old kit of mine. Just because they're the right height and they're the full height, so. If I want to have, you know, parts of it work. I have no idea what I'm trying to say, guys. If I guess if, what I'm trying to say is if I wanted to have, uh, more than like four things on my to-do list, which <laughs> apparently I'm not learning that I need to stop, uh, over promising for myself for what I can, can get done. So maybe I should use the four. Maybe that's a good idea. It'll keep me uh, specific and it'll add more color in, so. I think maybe we'll do that. In which case, I may actually change up my layout a bit, just because these are clearly meant to be left aligned, so I'll probably like align them right there. So change up how I normally do things with my formatting, so that's okay. Keep things interesting. So in that case, we'll just put these right down. I think what I'll do is because the height of these kind of goes like two and a bit, I'll align these kind of at the bottom because they kind of seem to align up with the, uh, they pretty much align up with the lines in the horizontal, which is nice. It's pretty rare that checklists actually do that unless they're specifically formatted for horizontal. So we can just kind of plop all of these babies down here. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know what else to talk about though. Like really it's just, um, you guys know what's going on. I have to figure out wedding stuff to figure out when I need to put the shop in vacation. Um, and that also depends on how this week goes with my sister. If she is comfortable taking over the, um, the cutting of orders right away pretty much, then we won't have to close down much at all to be honest like it could be a, less than a week even depending on her so we will see but it just depends when I get all the equipment over to her so she lives in another city 
So that is why uh, that is why she's gonna be here the the week to do training, and then I'm hoping that I can get it all to her later in August. But it just depends because she also just got a new job, so I don't wanna overwhelm her with craziness right off the bat. So let's see. I know I have an event on the Tuesday. Monday's a holiday, I can write that in there. The Wednesday is my dress fitting, but I'm gonna write that right there. And the Fridays when she leaves, I will give her Hmm. I'm going to give, put the yellow for that. What is the height of this? I was just curious. I'm going to put the yellow there for that. Which leaves the... I can put the teal. up here for the Tuesday. And I think we all know at this point that I film, I typically film on Thursday. However, today I'm filming on Friday, so hopefully I get this up before I leave. And that for the Thursday. And that's probably going to be it before the pen. However, there is one more thing. I do have these like week review stickers from this a sponsored by coffee kit from a while ago. And I just thought that would be great to put here just for next week. it kind of ties into that yellow and I mean I could e oh, I ran out of film and by film I mean memory uh, I just put that flag down just to make that a little more special I guess and then I know that that day is pretty much all about just cleaning the apartment so I don't think I need to put anything special there sticker wise so I'm gonna do my pen and then come back for a little bit of deco Okay, so I've got the basics down, and uh, there's a couple of decos I want to use. There's a binder over here that has some that I want to use for anxiety aids. So, um, let's just see. Okay, I'm going to put the silhouette troubleshoots. I'm going to put the cameo sticker there. I was going to put it up here, but I'm not sure if that's uh, what I want to do. I will definitely put this other one that's like a print one down here though. Maybe I could find another cameo one somewhere. It would be great if I could. Alright, anyway, we'll get on with life and everything. So I've got uh, the pickup groceries. I've just got this cute one from Sticker Fever. And so I'm just going to kind of put these randomly a bit, you know. And for the dress fitting, I've got one more dress fitting sticker. So I'll put that here. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know, I think I put one on the monthly one already. And just for like the cleaning stuff, I thought I would put a couple of different cleaning ones. So this one's from Once More With Love. And then I've got a clean fridge one from Anxiety Aids, just to remind me to actually fully clean out the fridge, which I may honestly try to do on the Monday when I get back. Now I've got, Megan starts training, I'll put this one from Craftrina there. Planning, I will put this kind of greenish one. Actually, I'll put the yellow one. We'll go with that. And 
that kind of suits that. And we've got our Once More With Love Wacky Holidays. I can't believe I missed Ice Cream Sandwich Day. That makes me sad. Seventh is Forgiveness Day. So if me and Megan are getting a fight, <laughs> I'll have to forgive her. Uh, the eighth is Cat Day. Oh, Simon. Such a cutie. The ninth is Book Lovers Day. The tenth is S'mores Day. Ooh. The eleventh is Son and Daughter Day. All about us. And the twelfth is Art Day. Oh my god, followed by the thirteenth. is left-handers day and I'm left-handed, yay! Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, that is awesome. I know I had some um, Craftrina ones that I probably wanted to use. Here's one from Once More With Love that I will use for um, the Sunday when I'm decluttering to organize my stickers because they're all just in piles right now and it's just really scary, guys. It's bad. And for the ship stickers on that day, I can use this one from Craftrina. Just throw it on there. So that is going to be it for this weekend, you guys. So definitely not really like crazy like theme with all the deco and stuff, but more of a kind of like a basic thing and combining kits and using other materials as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and comment below if you have any questions or if there's any shops you want to see in my plan with me videos, let me know. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!